My name is Ronnie Coleman, and I'm an eight-time Mr. Olympia and current IFBB Pro. And I'm here today to tell you guys more about my training, nutrition, and supplementation. Hey, wait! Real quick before I get in that, let me tell you a little bit more about me, how I got into bodybuilding, and how I did it working full-time as a police officer. It kind of goes back to growing up. When I was a kid, you know, my mom pretty much had a strict regimen that we followed. Before she went to work, she just laid out everything she wanted us to do before she came back. When we went to school, we had to come home and do our homework right away, you know, before we went out and played and stuff. If it wasn't done when she got back, you was in a lot of trouble. A whole head make a real soft behind. <laughs> Discipline just followed me all throughout my life. I've been training all my life and I had a pretty good background in, in just training, but you know, not training as a bodybuilder, but just training just to keep in shape and training for football and training for the college and team, that kind of stuff. I went to college for four years and got my degree with a BS degree in accounting and uh, kind of graduated with honors and everything, so I was at the top of the class. Couldn't wait to get out of school so I can go get a job in accounting. So I go out and I put in probably about at least a thousand resumes. I get called on some interviews and the thing that they wanted most, I didn't have, and that was experience. So I was bored, so a buddy of mine said, I want to go to Dallas. I'm like, okay, well, I'll go out there with you because I ain't got nothing to do at home. So I get to Dallas and I'm like, now, nah, you know, I ain't got nothing to do, so I need a job. <laughs> Finally got a job with, you know, working Domino's Pizza part-time and stuff. And I figured that uh, I'd just stay there until uh, I get a job in accounting. So cut to the chase two years down the road, and I, I still don't have a job in accounting, you know, and I'm thinking, what's something wrong here? I used to get the paper every day. <laughs> and the uh, only job that they had that you didn't have to have experience was a police police officer. I used to have a buddy of mine, he's like, man, you need to apply. I'm like, dude, that, that's the craziest job in the world. <laughs> it didn't sound so crazy after like, you know, two years. So uh, I just broke down and I applied. And I was hired uh, probably about three months later. I've been out on calls where, you know, before I got there, you know, it was a big argument going on, and people yelling and screaming at each other, and then all of a sudden I walk up, and they look at me, and they stop right away. <laughs> and then the focus is on me. Man, you're pretty big. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I didn't know anything about bodybuilding when I got into it. Weightlifting, I try to tell people all the time, it was like a hobby for me. And the reason why I started, the people used to always ask me if I worked out. And I used to always say no. I got to the point where I got tired of saying no. I'm like, if they ask me why I'm working out, maybe I should work out and see where it can take me. So that's why I started working out. It was all a stepping stone was what I'm trying to say. It took me about eight, nine years of dieting, training, working full time with the police department, trying to organize all this with the family. And first we had to get, you know, out of the amateurs. <laughs> then we had to get to the pros. Then we had to get established as a pro. And then we had to get good enough where we could, you know, win a Mr. Olympia. Yeah, buddy! I try to train every body part about twice a week. So I try to train like six days a week. Spend about an hour, hour, 15 minutes a day on training alone. And uh, if I'm getting ready for a contest and stuff like that, then, you know, it's another couple hours a day of cardio. I take the Sundays off one day a week. The uh, rest day is like, you know, get up early about nine, have a little bite to eat, go to church, uh, come home, take a shower and stuff, and get ready for work. People always ask me, how do you build muscle and how do you get strong and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's two different things because I did both, you know, I was a power lifter. And when I was a powerlifter, we only did, you know, like a few reps at a time. And we'd like do like six, four, and two, something like that. That was to build strength, but to build muscle, you know, you do a lot of repetition, like 10, 15, 20. And that's how you build muscle. It's all lightweight to me, though. It wasn't a big transition because I only did powerlifting for about uh, maybe three, two, three years. Now, when you got like 800 pounds of weight on your back, you ain't really thinking about no competitors. You're thinking about trying to get the weight off you. <laughs> Every rep, that's what you're basically thinking about. I've always wanted to train with a partner. If it's somebody that uh, can, you know, challenge me and, and, and do the same weight that I'm doing, but if not, then I'd rather train alone. <laughs> Coming up, you know, we pushed each other and, uh, and it worked out real good for us.
So I, I, I much rather train with a training partner than train alone. I, I like to tell people just, you know, do it like I did it. Get a personal trainer and that way you know what you're doing, you're doing it the right way and you, you're not going down the wrong way, you're not wasting your time. <laughs> If you don't have the right nutrition, you're not going to grow. And I learned that the hard way, but I learned it in a good way. When I was uh, playing football and, and just doing stuff like that and not actually trying to get big, all I did was eat uh, like hamburgers and fried chicken and all that kind of stuff. And I was wondering why I, I wasn't growing any muscle because I was eating a lot of food, but I wasn't eating a lot of good food. Protein is what build muscle but it's gotta be good quality protein. I try to eat about six meals a day. What I try to do is get like two grams of protein for every one pound of body weight. I'll try to take in about 600 grams of protein a day, like 100 grams uh, of protein per meal. My mass building muscle techniques are chicken, steak, and turkey. Uh, it's a strict diet and we don't deviate not one bit. Nutrition to bodybuilding is what an engineer is to a car. If you don't have the right nutrition, it ain't going to function properly. Just like a car, if you ain't got an engine in it, it's going to be kind of hard to drive around and get to where you're trying to go. <laughs> Without supplementation, you can't do it. When I first started in bodybuilding, we didn't have as many supplements as they have today. We were just basically taking uh, stuff like aminos, protein, and you can't get not one ounce of muscle without protein. You kind of like, you know, learn with the curve. As time went on, of course, you got to pre-workout drinks and post-workout drinks. You got your, your nitric oxide, uh, gives you a, you know, a good boost before you get in the gym. Uh, gives you a good pump once you get in the gym gives you a little, a little bit of motivation also. It just got better and better as I've gone on, year after year. My top three are basically aminos, protein, creatine, basically are your main ones. Bodybuilding is all about building muscle, who got the biggest muscle, who got the best muscle, and who got the most quality muscle. I don't think I could have did bodybuilding without supplements. I, as a matter of fact, I know I couldn't have done bodybuilding without the supplements. Yep, if you get the right one. <laughs> That's the key right there. <laughs> For my full training, supplementation, and nutrition program, check out the page below. I'm Ronnie Coleman, eight-time Miss Olympia, and for more information, go to bodybuilding.com.